is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. For a donation of $77, the Word Network will send you an authentic shofar, like the ones mentioned throughout the Bible. Each shofar is unique in color and shape, and easy to hold. The blowing of the shofar was used for festivals and celebrations, but also by God to call His people. Psalms declares, praise Him with the blast of the shofar. Today it's used as an expression of worship and prayer, and will be heard when Christ returns. This offer is limited, so call now. 855-730-WORD. That's 855-730-9673. Bishop Brandon Porter, only on The Word Network. He is the man of God. He is God's appointed. He is God's anointed. He is the kingdom voice sent by the king for such a time as this. This is a Word Network special presentation. Receive it now with his stripes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm set I free. Yeah. My mind, my body, my soul, Jesus. everything. Let it begin in me. Let the healing begin. Oh, Thank you, Father, yeah, yeah. for my healing.
It's a new day. There's a fresh anointing coming your way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season. It's a new day coming your way. I'm Bishop Greg Davis and somebody in the audience right now welcome those from all over the world that are watching. Let the healing begin. Yeah, we are live and we decree and declare that this will be a September to remember. It's going to be an October to remember. It's going to be a November to remember. It's going to be a December to remember. I am blessed and highly favored and I speak blessings upon your life. Welcome to Let the Healing Begin. I decree and declare by the power of God. That God is about to heal you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I believe in God that before, before these two hours are over, that God will heal you in every place that you have hurt. I pray right now that the rest of this year will be the best of the year of your life today. 
I want you to do me a favor. Give the scene a celebration a hand because that's my praise team from Celebration Church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. I know your praise team good, but that's the best praise team right there. Thank God for those of you that are watching. There's a number on the screen, 855-730-WORD. Whatever you've been going through, I want you to know that God is touching you everywhere that you have heard tonight. Our emphasis tonight is that after all your failure, that you're about to begin again. Y'all ain't saying nothing. One of my favorite sayings, rock bottom don't mean nothing to God because God made the rock. You can always begin again. And tonight, I point my finger at you all in your face and tell you you're about to begin again. Look at somebody say begin again. I preached a series over the summer. It's called Failure is Not the End. Michael Jordan was told that he wasn't good enough to play basketball. We know that ain't the truth. Walt Disney was told that his imagination, his creativity wasn't good enough, so they fired him, and instead he went and started Disney World. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It is the imagination place. Everybody, I was told that my TV ministry wasn't no good by somebody uh, some years ago, but how many of you know I've been on Christian television 13 years? I need somebody to shout, failure is not the end. There are reasons why people fail. They can't get over the past. So many people can't get over the past because they, they have failed and they won't start all over again. How many know that you have to get over the past? Another reason why people fail is because they hold on to stuff from the past. Touch somebody to tell them I ain't holding on no more. I'm not holding on. Another reason why people fail is because of fear. Fear grips them to move forward. But I speak by the power of God. Somebody that had fear right now, there shall be no more fear in your life. Another reason why people fear, fa fail is because of negative attitudes. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, my attitude is changing tonight. Another reason why people fail tonight, another reason why people fail tonight is because they don't learn from the last failure. How many know that everything you go through is a lesson? Another reason why people fail is because of poor communication skills. They don't know how to communicate. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Touch your neighbor say, it's, it's just good to be nice. Another reason why people fail, and this is the last one I'm going to mention tonight, is because of a lack of focus. We lose our, how do you take somebody's focus? I'm glad you asked, prophet, by giving them another focus. How many know if you're going to succeed, you have to learn how to focus to the finish? We lose our focus. You cannot succeed by having uh, uh, your focus off. You got to get your focus. And tonight, I want somebody to lift your hands that's watching and say, I shall get my focus back. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. The tears are gone. Tonight, I want to offer you this three-part series that I preach about failure is not the end. I want to get in your hands. There are 11 reasons why that I have outlined in this message, and it was a blessing to the church. Failure is not the end. I want to send you a three-part series about failure. There it is right there. Failure is not the end. I want to get in your hand. I want you to play it over and over and over again. I want you to decree and declare in your life, this is the last time I'm going to fail. You tried to start the business, but God said, try it again. You, you came out of divorce and said you'll never get married again, but God said, try it again. Tonight, I want to get this three-part series in your hand tonight. Failure is not there. Not only do I want to get that in your hand, but I want to get my healing journal in your hand tonight. What is the healing journal? It's 52 weeks of healing and meditation that I have outlined. I've only offered this before one other time, and I want to offer it because it's a new season. You can go through it, scriptures, and then you write out 
what God is speaking to you. I speak to you through scripture and meditation, and then you speak back. There in, in this journal, you can talk to God as you talk to God and he talks to you. You can try. I have somebody here with me tonight and I want her to come. She's right here from Sterling Heights, Michigan. Her name is Janice Jackson. I want her to come now. Janice. Welcome. She a little nervous, but she a, she a little fireball preacher. I brought you tonight because you got the healing journal. And I thought you was going to bring it with you. It was all written up and uh, you, 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 didn't have, you need a new one. We're going to give you a new one, all right? Amen. I want you to talk about when you ordered it and what happened with the journal and the oil. Okay, when I ordered the Let the Healing 52-week um, meditation journal, it really helped me. I was going through so much, going back and forth, Bishop and the audience, going back and forth on should I have surgery or whatever. And I shut myself in for three weeks on a consecration. And then I heard your, um, you on TV would let the healing begin. And I began to, I got the journal. And then two weeks after my surgery, which was last year, I journaled it. I finished, I had finished the let the healing begin May of this year. And it had blessed me. It had helped. Help me, because you know when you say when you meditate on the word day and night, you gotta keep that word active in your life, Bishop. You know that that word you gotta meditate on it, so you gotta keep it living. You gotta keep it active. There you go. I did it every? I did it for 52 weeks faithfully, Bishop. It didn't matter how I feel. It didn't matter how I look. I got nerve down. I got a brain tumor, 17 weeks old. But ask me, do I care? I'm still believing and let the healing begin because I know my God is a healer. I'm standing up here, Bishop, in Jesus' name. And let me let me let me ask you. Did you follow the instructions and you read what I said? Y'all sit down. Y'all getting happy. Uh you we got a long way to go. Uh you read it and then you wrote your own word. What's some of the things that you wrote in there? I left it in my car. I wrote so just tell much, me. I wrote so much stuff. I told God I just don't want to be healed from my brain tumor. I just don't want to be healed from my um surgery on my neck. I want to be healed from oppression, depression, my marriage to keep alive, my children that's battling with things that is not of God, that I didn't bring them up. And I said, God, I'm expecting. I declare and I decree. I didn't say. I didn't ask. I said I declare and I decree. I declare and I decree because we know faith without works is dead. Not, I only, it. not only did you have the journal, but you had the CD. You listened to yeah. the CD and, and not the oil. I know I'm going to give you some more because you said you, you took it out in Starbucks. We was talking in Starbucks. You took it out. Talk about the oil. The oil. I used to only um, anoint my, my hair Take with oil just w once a day. Now when I got your oil, I anointed my whole body because on your a CD, it comes with the CD, it comes with the journal, it comes with the prayer cloth, and it comes with the oil. You have to follow the steps. So you say, anoint yourself, and I anoint myself from head to toe, and if my neck was hurting, my back was hurting, wherever, and I lay prostrate, and I listen to your CD, and I anoint myself every day. That oil, and I believe, I believe God through that oil, that's when the healing began. When you put God first, because God is in that oil. So I thank God. Who should order this? Who you think should order this? I think everybody that's going through anything, healing, deliverance, need healing, deliverance, oppression, depression, divorce, drugs, opioid drugs, addicted to painkillers from medication, whatever problem, no self-esteem, rejection, a pandemic, you need it. All of everybody need it. Everything. I told y'all. Yes. I told y'all she's fine. Go sit down somewhere. Come on, give Janice a hand, everybody. Listen. I want to send to you the healing oil. I want to send you the journal so you can do like Janice. It, it was all written up. I was just blessed of God to see somebody really use it, like I said. And then I want to send you the three messages. Failure is not the end. You can always begin again along with the prayer cloth. It's right there in front of you. For a seed tonight, a new beginning seed of $87. I want you to dial the number on the screen right now, 855-730-WORD. What is it for, Bishop? It's to help you get back on your stride again. It's to help you get back in step again. But you know what? It's to help preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Again, I'm sending you the journal. I'm sending you the oil. And I'm sending you the three messages that I preach about failures, not the end alone with the healing. Go right now, 855-730-WORD. Dial the number on the screen and receive it. Apostle, Apostle, come. What's going on, man? Amen. God is so good. 
Prophet Alvernus Johnson. Yes, sir. Listen, all of us who have our expectation of him can already sense him in the building tonight. And something supernatural is going to take place. You see, the God I serve is at rest. I said, the God I serve is at rest. And I'm living in a finished work. Can you say that the God I serve is at rest? In other words, God's not trying to figure out what's going to happen to me. Whatever's going on in my life right now, he's already finished that work. And all I have to do is praise him because I'm living in a finished work. I want to release this word to you tonight because there's a lot of unrest in our nation. People concerned about all the hurricanes and all the natural disasters that are happening. And people are always asking, where is the prophetic voice? But I have a question for you. Where is the prophetic ear? Because God has raised his prophets up and they are speaking. But we've got to have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. In this hour, what we're noticing in September is going to be a special month. Because September is going to hold three things in it. I want you to remember this. Divine acceleration. Double anointing. And the defeat of your adversary. Yeah. Oh, I want to say it yeah. one more time. Divine acceleration. That means that God is going to do what he spoke in the book of Joel. He's going to redeem the time and cause the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the locust have eaten up to be back to you. Now watch it. Watch how God does it. God does this through a process the doctors call inducing labor. Which means when you've been carrying something and it's past the due date, they have to break the water for you. What we're seeing happen in our nation is God is inducing the labor of the church. He's caused us to hit a brick wall because beyond this brick wall is coming divine acceleration. Which means by the time you lay down tonight and wake up tomorrow, the thing you've been waiting for and praying for and asking for is going to happen just like that. Number two, number two is a double anointing because what it's going to take for us in this hour is greater than the hour of our forefathers. And what we're about to experience in the church age, in the church day of the kingdom age, whichever you prefer, we're about to experience a double anointing, an increase in the anointing. I've already been anointed, but now God is going to increase the anointing on my life to meet every challenge of my life. And last but not least, we're about to witness the overthrowing of every other throne that's built itself against you. I don't care what you're going through tonight. You have tuned in at the right time. You turned your channel to the right place. This is where God is. And he's about to expedite everything in your life. It is the prophet's proclamation that expedites the will of God in our life, which means God will use the word and hurry up and bring to pass what you've been waiting for. I came to announce tonight, your wait is over. The enemy that you see now, you'll see him no more forever. Somebody holler in here. Last thing, Bishop. Now we're getting ready to come down here tonight. Last thing that I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down or, or stand down. On the way down here tonight, God said to me, he said, tell the people because there's a lot of people wondering and you're in that between place. You're watching tonight and you're flicking through the channels, but God has led you to the word network. Because tonight is your night for healing, not just physically, but everything in your life that ails you, tonight is going to be healed. Because God said, tell them I've already anointed them. You're already anointed and you already have an assignment. The issue is you have no avenue by which to project that assignment or fulfill it. But tonight, before 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, God is going to create an avenue. He's going to make a way out of no way. And I promise you, tonight is shifting. There is a shift tonight in the atmosphere. A shift in your life. A shift in your finance. A shift in your house. Because then the healing. Somebody shout shift. What does shift mean? Shift means, S-H-I-F-T, sure hope in future transition. Sure hope in future transition. You said it tonight, I have a future because failure is not my end. Things won't be like they are. And I prophesy and decree over this airways tonight that tonight is your night. I encourage you to get this series. He didn't ask me to do this. I feel led. I only do it when I'm led. Bishop allows us 
to be led by the Spirit of God. We're not rehearsed in the back room. We're not told what to say or what to do. There's a freedom and a liberty here. And I wouldn't say this if God would tell me to say it. Tonight is your night. Throw that seed of $87, and I promise you, as you listen to these CDs, read these uh, manuals, and, and, and hear this message about failure, you're going to understand that failure is not your end. But I have a tomorrow. I have sure hope in future transition. 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. You heard the man of God. Get that $87 in the, in the ground. We want to hurry this to you, the journal. The message is about failure is not the end. We want to get to you the prayer cloth, the oil. Do it right now. 100 of you tonight that were moved by the power of God. 100 of you tonight. I'm caught 100 of you tonight. Apostle Michael Hunter is in the house. Jamaica. Hallelujah. I hear the spirit of the Lord God say right now, enlarge your basket. Enlarge your vision. Because the Lord of harvest is coming to your house. God is saying, even as we start this new season, everything that was stolen from you in the first season, God says, I'm about to release. I'm about to give you back pay. I'm about to give you interest. I'm about to give you everything that the devil has stolen in the first part of this year into this last era of this year. Eight means new beginning. Eight means favor. Eight means breakthrough. Eight means your acceleration of your blessing. Your acceleration of your miracle. Your acceleration of open doors is now. I want you to reach out tonight and touch the Lord as he passes by. Your healing is now. Your creative miracle of financial doors is now. It begins at this moment. I've seen the nail scarred hands of God reaching out to heal you of every situation that you have been going through. There's a Jessica that is watching me right now. God says that lump is being removed from your breast right now in the name of Jesus. There's a erase that is watching me right now. God says get on the line. Dial 855-730 and sow that seed of $87. Eight new beginning plus seven completion. Your completion of your destiny has started now. Your completion of your overflow has started now. Your completion of divine connection has started right now. See it, the spirit of the living God. 855-730 word right now. Pastor Dana's about everybody stand. 855-730 word. I'm going to ask Will you all go to the prayer room for me right now? I want you to go right now. If you go to the prayer room right now, if you call right now and give that, remain standing, that $87, they're going to pray for you right now. Apostle Hunter, <laughs> Prophet Johnson, right now, look at the people of God praying for you right now. 855, I, I love that shot. 855, 73, look at, look at the people of God calling in. A seat of $87. Pastor Dana Berry. The executive pastor of Celebration, pray woman of God. Come on and open up your mouth. God, we love you. God, we praise you. God, we adore you. God, we lift you up. God, we extol you. God, we come to worship your name tonight. We've come to lift you up. We've come to give you glory. There's no God like Jehovah God. There's no God that can break through and bring us into our place of deliverance like you. And so we open up our mouths even now and give you glory because you are our God. You are our king. You are our sustainer. You are our way maker. You bless us when we're unblessable. You make ways when there's no way to be made. We thank you right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Do like only you can do tonight. Shake us in your presence. In the name of Jesus, while we're in your presence, remove doubt, remove shame, remove sickness. In the name of Jesus, remove disease. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that the devil is defeated. You are exalted. You are our God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now that you are going to homes. You are healing in the name of Jesus. We come against oppression. 
We come against oppression. We come against sickness. We come against everything that needs to bow to the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that everything that is not like you has to bow to the name of Jesus. Every witch, every warlock, every Satanist, you've got to bow to the name of Jesus. It is in him that we live. It is in him that we move. It is in him that we have our being. And so we thank you for your presence. Your presence brings life. Your presence brings joy. Your presence brings healing. Touch us in our mind. Let us be healed in our mind. Renew us in our mind. That we can freely praise you. That we can freely adore you. That we can freely give you the glory that is to your name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We decree it to be so. In the name that's above every name. Clap your hands and give God glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give him praise. Take your seat. Hey, Abasha. I promise you before the night is over, I'm a dance. I feel a, hey, I feel a dance coming on. Robo Hey, come on, shake, come on. All right, Keisha, all right. No, 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 I want to call your name out tonight. That was so that $87. I'm sending you three messages. Failure is not the end. Three part series. Failure is not the end. I'm sending you the journal so you can do just like Janice did. You can write in the journal. You can read the meditation daily, 52 weeks. I'm sending you the prayer cloth and I'm sending you the all call right now. There are 100 of you that will sow that seed. Pastor Dana, who we got with us tonight? Bishop, we have some awesome men of God with us tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pastor Armstead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What's the name of your church? Perfecting Triumphant Overcomers Church. Yes. Glory to God. And so with that being said, this is a night of healing. The man of God has decreed and declared tonight that there is no failure. Hallelujah. No failure in us. And so what do you speak to those things? I decree and declare tonight that tonight begins the prevailing hour of victory of every believer in the body of Christ. I decree and declare tonight that the adversarial spirit and the demonic forces that have come against the people of God are nullified and nullified and void right now. I decree and declare that every plot, every ploy, every scheme, every schism, every trick, and every schematic of the devil is overrun by the blood of Jesus. I declare tonight according to Isaiah 42 and 9 that the form of things have come to pass. You can praise God right now because what he's already said, he already did it. And then he says, not only that, but I'm going to do a new thing and I will declare it to you before it takes place. I came to tell somebody tonight that your best days are ahead of you. Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall you not know it? I decree tonight that every emancipated anointing that is released from God is freeing you from every entrapment, every slavery, every issue of life. Now I want everybody in this room tonight and in the audience all over the world to take it to yourself right now and decree and declare that the devil's plan is overwritten. We override, we trample over every trick of the enemy in the name of Jesus and we declare victory now by the blood. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pastor Belk is in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Give us the name of your church, man. Mount Charity Baptist Church. Man of God, what is God speaking to you tonight to speak to the viewers? Amen. I believe that there's power in persistent prayer. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 1 that there was a woman by the name of Hannah. And she prayed at Shiloh. 
And when she prayed at Shiloh, she wanted something from the Lord. And because she wanted something from the Lord, it was her persistence. The Bible says that she went to Shiloh every year. That means she was persistent. It sounds like the same woman with the issue of blood. She was persistent. And I just believe that if the people of God would be persistent on today with your prayer and your praise and your posture, that God will send a healing for you on today. God bless you. Glory to God. Pastor Daldale is in the house today. Hallelujah. What's the name of your church? Glorious Grace Covenant Ministry. Amen. And so as we're here tonight in this awesome atmosphere, what is God speaking to you to say to the people tonight? I believe that God is in this season talking about faith. The Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. We need to understand how faith works. If you can't work, work faith works if you work it. Amen. And and I believe that um, that the city of Detroit, amen, needs a faith lift. Amen. We need to lift our faith, raise our praise, and give God the best thing that we have. Amen. Come on and put your hands together and bless the Lord for these men of God. We turn it back over to you, Bishop. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Dana. Give it up for them one more time. You're watching Let the Healing Begin. I'm Bishop Greg Davis. I want to thank God. I want y'all to do this for me. Thank God for Mr. Kevin Adele, the owner of the Word Network. Mr. Adele, thank you so much. We love you, Kevin. You never take another man's platform unless you give honor to them. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Psalms 137. Psalms 137. Psalms 137. By the rivers of Babylon. Armstead. There we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hang our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they carried us away captive, required us of a, a, a song that wasted us, required myrrh, saying, Sing us one of those songs of Zion. And they said, How shall we sing the Lord's song? In a strange land. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, I've been in a strange place. I want to talk to some folk. If I get some more mind, I want to talk to some folk here that's been in a strange place for the last eight months. I want to talk to somebody that's been frustrated where you've been. I want to talk to some folk that's been uneasy sitting in your cubicle at work. I want to talk to some folk that even your home has become strange. I, I, I want to talk to somebody that has become irritated by the folk that you used to hang around. I, I want to talk to some folk, Pastor Armstead, that your circle has gotten smaller because some folk can't go with you where you're about to go. I, I want to talk to some folk that are in a strange land. I need you to understand that the strange place that you're facing, uh, uh, it was destined by God. You must understand that you've been, you've been rebuking the devil and giving him more credit than he deserves. Because God has orchestrated your strange place. The steps of a, I, I think I might feel like preaching. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in them. Every step that you've made, God has sponsored it. Not only has he sponsored your Babylonian captivity, but he sponsored the person that put you there. And understand that the enemy can't do nothing to you unless God allows it. For the last eight months, things have been kind of strange. You, you used to know where everything was. Now things have gotten a little discombobulated. The spirit of depression has messed with you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Your home has become uncomfortable. If I'm talking to somebody, shout back at me. What is a strange place? I'm glad you asked. It's an unusual place. It's a, it's a surprising place. It's an unsettling place, Dorsey. It's a place or a hard understanding place. It, it's, it's never been here before. Never thought I would have been here. Never thought I would have gone through this. Never thought I would have, don't you holler at me like that, man. Never thought I'd be divorced. Never thought I'd be in a messed up marriage. Never thought I'd be here. Somebody shout strange place. I, 
I never thought my change would be strange. I never thought my money would be like it is. I never thought that I would have to file bankruptcy. I never, anybody here in a strange place. Never thought that my business would not be doing as it is, but understand that God is orchestrating your strange place because let me announce to somebody that no matter how strange it is, no matter how bad it seems, I need to make this announcement. Are you ready? God said you're in the right place at the right time. Shake your neighbor hand in the studio right now. Say, neighbor, every setback was a setup for your comeback. I need three people to jump up right quick and say, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, and so you must understand the enemy, the enemy, uh, the enemy can only put you where you are for a time. Here in the Psalm, Psalms 137, I'm going to preach in a minute. Here God has them in Babylonian captivity. They are put there by Nebuchadnezzar. Touch somebody say, you've been put there, you've been put there. But how many know even though you've been put there, God don't leave you there. Y'all ain't saying nothing. High five your neighbor and say, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Matter of fact, this is my month of coming out. This is my month of new beginning. This is my month of completion. Because eyes have not seen nor ear heard the good things that God has in store for me. Look down your road and say everything on this road. We're starting all over again. The Bible says, Shatadama, Shata. Malia, I feel like preaching. It is a strange place. What, what, what does it say? It says, by the rivers of Babylon. Babylon was a strange, sit down, y'all. Babylon was a strange place because they were used to, they were used to being at the temple. They were used to being in Zion. But now they were in a strange place. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, God moved you from that place you were in so that you can lean and depend on him the bible says some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we will remember the name of the lord the name of the lord is a strong tower don't you preach for me over there and the righteous running and they are saved and so they are in a unfamiliar place babylon babylon unfamiliar territory look at somebody and say neighbor god's gonna bless you in unfamiliar territory. Even though they were in Babylon, they held position. Even though they were in Babylon, God took care of them. Look at somebody and say, he's gonna take care of you. Even, even in, in your worst time, God said, I'm gonna take care of you. Dial that number right now if you're in a strange place. 855-730-WORD. And so they were in an unfamiliar place. It says, there we sat. How many know when you're in a strange place, you don't feel like getting up. You don't feel like moving. You close the curtains. You don't even want to see daylight. But the devil is a liar. You're about to get up from where you are and start all over again. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you've been sitting down long enough. It's almost over. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Touch your neighbor and say, good morning, good morning. I see the sunlight now. I can see clearly now. The Bible says. Uh, oh, oh, I feel like preaching, Craig. Uh, they were in an unfamiliar place. They sat down. Not only did they sit down, they quit. Look at somebody say, neighbor, you can't quit now. Because the devil knows that when you quit, it's all over. I come to talk to a pastor tonight. You cannot quit tonight. You shall live and not die. And declare the work. I need some pastors in here praying. How many realize 1,500 pastors? They quit every week. But the de Holy Craig, the devil is a liar. Get back in that church. Get up from that seat right now. Go to that church tonight. All the chairs down. Grease them down. And say, I'm getting up from here. You ain't quitting, Pastor. God's about to send the harvest to your church. You're not quitting, businessman. God is about to send the laborers. Somebody shout, strange place. 
Uh, so they were in an unfamiliar place. Uh, they were sitting down. Uh, they felt like quitting. Ah, uh, uh, but they said to them, uh, how many knew that when you at your worst? Uh, that's when the devil started making fun of you. Uh, if you so saved, then why you going through all that? Uh, if you so saved, then why you ain't got a man? Uh, if you so saved, then why you ain't got a car? Uh, you ain't helping me preach, Ashley. Uh, if you so saved, uh, then why you ain't got no man? Uh, look at somebody and say, neighbor, uh, God's getting me ready uh, for the best day of my life. Uh, it may not look like what I'm doing. Uh, it may not look like I know what I'm doing. It may not look like I know where I'm going. But the devil is a liar. My steps are ordered. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. Ah, they said, sing us one of those songs. Don't you preach for me while I'm staring. Uh, sing us one of those songs uh, of Zion. Uh, come on, sing for us. Uh, see, the reason why they told him to sing uh, is because they knew that we're in depression. Uh, the enemy always takes advantage of you uh, at your lowest point. Uh, but the devil is a liar. Uh, somebody that's watching me in California, uh, it may be your lowest point, uh, but today is your come up. Uh, you got that bounce back, baby. Touch somebody and tell them I'm bouncing back. I'm bouncing back from failure. I'm bouncing back from bankruptcy. Y'all ain't praying with me, Edmonds. Look at somebody and say, I got bounce back. Tell them I got the juice, baby. Hey! Uh, and so, they said, sing us one of those songs. Sing us one of those songs of Zion. See, I've been teaching at my church, so I feel like preaching tonight. Sing us one of those songs of Zion. Sing one of them songs. This is the day the Lord has made. How many will admit that when you're in your strange place, you don't feel like singing, don't feel like going to church, don't feel like lifting my hands, because where I'm at, I'm in unfamiliar. But how many of you know, I'm going to preach to you, that no matter where I'm at, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes a boast of the Lord. Touch your neighbor say, neighbor, no matter where I'm at, I might be in the garage. And I'm going to say, this is the day. I feel like preaching, Jeff. Don't look at me like that. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He, oh, he. And so, The Bible says, 855-730-WORD, 100 pastors that are watching right now, 855-730-WORD, said, sing us one of those songs of Zion. They said, how can we sing? Don't preach for me over there. The Lord's song in an unfamiliar place, in a strange place, in an unexpected place, in a broke place. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Marriage messed up. Are your home messed up? Tore up from the flow up. How can I sing? How can I bless him? How can I lift my hands? I don't even feel like getting out of the bed. I'm taking up us to get up. I'm taking down us to get down. How? I, I, I got eight minutes, Keisha. I, I'm not. I'm not talking to the sinner tonight. I'm talking to the church. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Most folk are depressed in the church. Preachers not feeling like getting out of the bed. But the devil is a liar. What I failed to tell you, that they had 70 years to get up out of there. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's almost over. Shake their hand like they're gonna shake it off. I think I'm a hoop tonight huh? and say it's almost over. Huh? I'm about to come out. Huh? I'm busting loose. Huh? Touch your neighbor huh? and touch him and say, neighbor, huh? I'm busting out of Babylon. Huh? I'm tired. Huh? Hit it and drop it, drummer. Huh? 
I'm tired huh, of a strange place. Huh, I'm getting my joy back. Huh, I'm getting my praise back. Huh, 855 huh, 730 word. Huh, if you're ready to bounce back, huh, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Huh, I may have been in a strange place, huh, but I'm going back to Judah. Huh, I'm going back to praise. Huh, I'm getting my Shabbat back. Huh, I'm getting my glory back. Huh, I'm getting my tone back. Huh, Cause ha, any day now, ha, I'm on my way. Ha, shout yeah, ha, shout yeah. I'm on my way. Ha, I'm going back ha, to giving him glory. Ha, I may have been down, ha, but ha, I'm coming up again. Ha, touch your neighbor ha, and say, neighbor, ha, I'm coming up again. Ha, coming up out of poverty. Ha, Coming out of broke days, huh? coming out of sick days, huh? cancer's healed, huh? diabetes healed. Huh? I'm coming up, coming up, huh? shout yeah, ah, yeah. And so, oh. All they could think about was yesterday. I hear the song say it's so hard to, don't preach for me, to say goodbye to yesterday. But I got a prophetic word for you. Yesterday is gone, but better is on the way. It didn't work last time, but tell the devil it's my season, it's my time. It's my day, it's my year. I'm gonna finish strong. I'm stronger. Hey, hey, I'm wiser. I'm better. So much. I'm done, Jesus. I'm done. Say yeah. Hey. Come on. Touch seven people and say, I'm coming out of the strange place. Tell them I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Hey, I'm coming out. Hey, I'm coming out. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Strange place. You've been in a strange place. Failure is not the end, though. After 70 years, stand on your feet, everybody. Lift your hands. God raised up another king that will take him back. God is sending somebody you've never seen. Let me hear it. To take you where you've never been. To get what you never had. It's a new season for you. There's a number on the screen right now. I want you to tell that prayer partner right now. That I'm coming out of my strange place. Those of you that were so that $87, I want you. But there is, there's 20 people. The Lord spoke to me in the car. I don't play. Lift your hands, please. Lift your hands. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, unto to me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is. Thy faithfulness Morning by morning yes. New mercies I, I see All that I needed Thy hand have provided Great is thy faithfulness 
right now he'll do it for your family brother he'll do it come on come on lift your hands that will sow a seed of 200 and I'm still going to send you everything we said but there are 20 of you that need God to do something miraculous in your life that will sow a seed of $208 a double new beginning go to the phone right now sow that $208 double, double eight new beginning thank God for Lula from Virginia Lydia from New York, Lynn from Florida, Veronica from New York, $87. Debbie from Virginia, $174. Carmen from Colorado, $196. Phyllis from New York, Gladys from PA, Robert from Maryland, $87. I want to read some of you that will get that. There's five of you tonight. Yeah, take your seat, take your seat. There are five of you that will sow $1,008. Five of you. There was so one, a thousand dollars breaks the back of the enemy. There's another, there's another level. I want to pray with you. I'm going to send the prophets to the prayer room as you give that one thousand eight dollars. Do it right now. Come on, praise team. We lift our, we lift our hands wide as the sky. Sing. Lift your hands and begin to worship him. God, we give you the glory. We give you the honor on today. Hallelujah. We open up our hearts to you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Right here. Hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. You ought to lift your hands. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up and hearts open wide. God, we lift your name high. Let all the other names fade away. Anybody want that to happen? Again, let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. declare that out of your own mouth. Let all the other, let all the other things yeah. fade away. Till there's only you, Til God. Only let all the other names, all the other names fade Come away. on, sing, Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Come on, stand to your feet right here. Come on, sing.
approached you with, let all the other names. Let all the other names fade away. Until there's only you. Until there's only let all the you. other names. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place Jesus, in my life. Take your, take your place in my life today. Five seven three zero word eight five five seven three zero word is the number to call eight five five seven three zero word. We're sowing at three levels. Those of you that were so eighty seven, you be seated. Those of you that were so eighty seven dollars, I want to send you the package. If you could show it, Ray, one more time. I want to send you the healing journal. I want to send you my three messages on failure is not the end. I want to send you the prayer cloth. So you can journal every day in the journal just as this woman of God did. Want to send you the oil. Then those of you that were so $208, you believe in God for more from your life. I'm still going to send you the packet. Then there's five of you that were so that $1,008. I brought some help with me tonight. And over the summer, you've seen this woman of God and even the next woman of God that's going to come. And they're going to come for about 10, 12 minutes. And they're going to preach the word. They're going to prophesy. Whatever God says to them. I want you to welcome right now Ambassador Apostle Sharon Edmond. She's on the Word Network. Well, come on, give God praise. Stand on your feet tonight. Lift your hand. Give God praise. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, tonight is my night. Look at another neighbor and shout, let the healing begin. You shall be healed tonight. And somebody's going to get a miracle. I still believe in miracles. Tell somebody a miracle a day will keep the devil away. Is there anybody in here that still believe in miracles? We honor and we bless Bishop Greg Davis tonight. Let's celebrate the God man. Thank God for the word that worked. Thank God for those that are watching this telecast from your homes or from your computer or from your smartphone. Those that are in this place tonight, I come to let you know that you're in the right place. Tell your neighbor I was in a strange spot, but I got my woke to back. Ah, come on, tell somebody I got it. I got my woke to back. Listen, listen, I just want to be before you just a little while. But every man, every woman of God, every boy, every girl, every butcher, every baker, somebody say every candlestick baker, every stick, stone, and dry bone need to know who you are and what your assignment is. I come to you tonight as an apostolic bridge. Look at somebody and say, she comes tonight to take you to your miracle and to take you to your breakthrough. I'm out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Before we came, there was a young man. Listen to me. A young man had an accident. Somebody lift your hand in the ear. And uh, his car submerged in the creek. And he was under the water for over five minutes. Somebody said over five minutes. When they poured him out of the water, he was non-responsive. I had just gotten back from a revival in a crusade. Hey, Kurosha, telephone rang. His aunt says to me, Apostle Edmund and Master Edmund, my nephew drowned in the creek. I said, God, wake him up. And he woke up. Glory to God. So Saturday, by Sunday, the doctor said there's so much debris and water in his lungs. He has pneumonia. He's going to die and he cannot live. I want you to know he's talking. He's sitting up. He's walking. The devil lost again. Listen, listen. A miracle a day will keep the devil 
people away. I have somebody need to dial one eight five five. Somebody shout seven three zero one. You're sitting by your TV screen right now. There's pain in your body. That devil has diagnosed you through the doctor. But I come tonight to let you that are watching know, and those that are in the studio audience know, ye shall live. I wish I had a real church. And you shall not die. Point at yourself and say, I shall live. My marriage shall live. My body shall live. My money shall live. My ministry shall live. Shall it shall live. Last week I was in revival in Goose, Florida. Pregnant young lady come up. Uh, three teeth had holes. Look at hands, somebody. All three teeth were rotten. The doctor said, I know your face is swollen. You're in excruciating pain. And there's nothing we're able to do because you're pregnant. She came to the crusade. God told me, like he's telling me now, there's somebody viewing this telecast. Lift your hand in the studio audience and even in your home. God said, I'm going to perform a miracle of recreation. There are those in the studio audience that were there to witness. I lay my hand on the side of my face and her family began to scream when she opened her mouth and had three brand new teeth. The cavities, the holes had disappeared. Somebody shout, they disappeared. We travel all over the country praying for people with arthritis, whether cartilage, somebody lift your hand and say cartilage, has been eaten out of their knees. They have like a bone on bone, pains and problems. People with lumbar disorders, from the L4 to the L whatever. Come on here. I'm sick on a herniated disc, pushing on sciatic nerves, pains and pain all day and all night. We watch God for cartilage. God, somebody, somebody's watching this telecast to receive that cartilage right now. Ah, the bulging disc, the herniated disc is going back. And you wonder why I holler because the doctor does, diagnosed me with sarcoidosis in the nose. He doc, diagnosed me. Uh, come on here. What sucker doses around my voice box? The doctor said, Bahala! Come on, oh, excuse me. I'd never talk again. Right there in his office where he proclaimed it, I hollered to the top of my voice. Woke up one morning, cancer in three parts of my body. By the time I got to the last doctor, and the doctor asked me, Why are you too? What are you doing here? I said, I'm here because the devil told allow me. Look at somebody and say, I'm in a situation and a circumstance that I am in because the devil told allow me. God about it. They said I was in denial. They said I couldn't face the fact that I had cancer. Come on here. But I said, if you give me one more test, I'll do whatever you want me to do. And when they tested me, there was no cancer. I'm cancer free. I want to say one thing because there are some that are watching this telecast that are about to receive a miracle in your home. Somebody lift your hand. I feel the power. That's the color of the 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 Shekinah glory of God. There are at least two to four people in the studio audience that's walking out with a miracle. When I was diagnosed for sarcoidosis, I received a gradual healing. Just look at two people that look like they're plugged in and say a gradual healing, gradual healing. But when I was healed from cancer, I received a miracle of healing. Let the healing begin. Somebody say, let the healing begin. Listen, a gradual miracle, a gradual healing, it happens, but it takes time. And during a gradual healing, God gives you the power, the anointing of sustainment. What does that mean? You live with stuff that other folk die with. Look at 
touch a neighbor and say, I'm living with some stuff that other people have died with. He gives the power of sustainment to hold you over until your complete healing take place. Somebody give God praise. Listen, listen, listen. Not only that, you're diagnosed, but you don't die. Look at your neighbor and say, I've been diagnosed, but I shall not die. I shall be healed. I shall. Somebody shout, I shall. Okay, I shall be healed. Listen, listen. But a miracle of healing it's what about four people in the studio audience and 400 people that are watching this telecast are going to receive tonight a miracle of healing. It's when it happens right now. To the mass. Look at your neighbor and say, I need my money healed. I don't have time to wait. I can't even wait to Friday. I need a supernatural check now. I need debt cancellation. Somebody shout right now. I need increase. Somebody say right now. Somebody viewing this telecast shout right now. Tell your neighbor I need God to do it. I need God to perform it. Right now, stretch your hand this way. Stand on your feet. There are 40 people that are viewing this telecast. Put your hand on your television screen right now or put your hand toward your television screen. The lower part of your back, the lumbar. There's a pain and ongoing pain and running issue. Just like the woman with the issue of blood. It would not leave. It just continued and continued and continued. There are 40 of you. The long part of your back, the herniated disc is leaving now. Come on. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Come on. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. Lift your hands. There are 92 people, come over here, that are watching this telecast. Right now, you're about to get a miracle of healing. I'm talking about a breakthrough right now. It's bone on bone. No cartilage there. You wake up in the morning and it's swollen all during the day. It's hurting, but I command cartilage to grow. Come on, open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't clap, don't clap. Open your mouth, raise your hand. Don't tap my car. Open your mouth, raise your hand. Because they are receiving a miracle of healing now. Listen, listen, I've got to go. But there is someone now. I can feel it in my body. Artorius Skinner was a great man of God that at times uh, when he got in the midst of people, he could feel the condition in his body. And I can feel it in the studio audience right now. There is a person that has a problem, the lower part of your lumbar. I don't know whether you're in an accident or how the disc slip, or how, how long the pain has been there. I'm gonna count the five, it's up to you. Come now, and you're gonna receive a right now miracle. A right now miracle on the spot. Man of God, how long has it been there? About 10 years. 10 years, somebody shout 10 years too long. Shout one more time, 10 years too long. Were you in an accident, did you fall? What happened? It, it, and is it your disc? Yes. Lord, long about this. Is it bulging? Is it uh, herniated? Is it deteriorating? Because we can grow it back. It's deteriorating. Okay. You're in pain all the time. You're in pain right now. You're going to receive a miracle. Turn, sir. Turn. A right now break the walk up, please. I need to walk down. Show me the area where the hurting disc is. Show it to me, sir. Sir, where is it? Right in there. Somebody stretch your hand this way. <sighs> Playing softly. <sighs> Move your hand. <sighs> Almost. Never ever be the same again. 
somebody when he get off that floor, there will not be a pain in his body. Somebody need to call one 730 word You're receiving a miracle now. Come here, sir. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where's the pain? Where's the pain? No more pain. Come on, Ben. You're here. The power of God. By the power of God. There's an individual. I've got to go. It's bone on bone. No cartilage in your knee. I've got to go. I'm counting to five. I'm going to pray in God. It's going right now. A miracle of healing. Put cartilage in your knee. Who are you? One, come down. Two, come on. Really, really quick. Three, four. Come on. Quick. I got to go. Four. Come on. Quick. I got to go. Five. Is you, ma'am? How long has it been that way? Five years. Five years. Pain in your knee right now. The bone. I got to make this quick. Pick it up. Any pain? Heal by the power of God. Okay, come on, come on, sir. What's going on?
word. Keep playing stuff, 855-730 word. 100 of you that were still at $87. I want to send you that package. I want to send you the healing journal. I want to send you the oil. I want to send you the prayer cloth. I want to get in your hands immediately. The journal, the prayer cloth, and my three messages on failure is not the end. 100 of you. And then those of you that were sold $208. Believe in God for double. And then those that want to break the back of the enemy for $1,008. As you help the Word Network, it's been a long summer. I need you to partner with me tonight. If you enjoy the ministry of Let the Healing Begin, I need you to do that tonight. Dial the number on the screen. Clap your hands, everybody. This is my daughter in whom I'm well pleased. She comes from the city of New York City. They named it twice, New York, New York. Give it up. You've seen her on the Word Network over and over and over and over again. I thought she was the host of the show. Give it up for this fireball of a preacher, Prophet Serafina Thomas. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Can you just stand to your feet in the studio? Come on. Hallelujah. Just begin to open your mouth. As I begin to sit here, Bishop, amen, I thank God for him and let the healing begin. Amen. But I want you to lift your hands. As the anointing is flowing in this room, there is a healing. Bishop, there is something particular that he said. He said that there was a $1,000 seed. I didn't hear the eight on the end. But tonight in this studio, there are leaders in here that the Lord divinely wants to heal. There are many of you women that are in here that are locked in the incubation stage of ministry. I want you to begin to open your mouth in this studio. Come on, come on, begin to open your mouth. Come on, out of the fruit of your lips. Come on, give God something that you've never given him. Come on, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on, out of your belly. As I, as I begin to sit in begin to flow. The Lord began to talk to me about Mephibosheth and he began to tell me, he said, there are many Mephibosheths in the house um, tonight and there are many of you that have crippled places. Your ministry is crippled in certain places and, and, and particularly it may not be the finances of your church, but it may particularly be your children. It can be something in an area of your life where it seems like there is no flow of in Increase. But as I began to sit, the Lord said to me, he said, begin to blow the trumpet in this nation. He said, begin to blow the trumpet in this nation. He said, and I want you to declare to them tonight that what they came in with, they're not leaving out with. I came to tell you tonight that he's healing you of mental instability tonight. He's healing you of the torment of your mind. He's healing you in the places that you never expected the Lord to go into. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. The Lord took me to the scripture of Mephibosheth. And he began to speak to me about Lodi Bar. And he began to say this because we're getting ready to have a time in here. He began to say to me this about Lodi Bar. That some of us have been in Lodi Bar for so long. That the stenches are on our praise. And the stenches are on our worship. And the stenches is in how we lead a nation. But tonight I came in this place to deliver you out of the... Oh, y'all not saying nothing to me. I came to tell you tonight that God is bringing you out of the phase of tradition, of emotionalism. He's bringing you into a place of newness. Bishop began to declare that this is an unfamiliar place that we will begin to sing praises in and understand this, that Mephibosheth was in loading bar by accident. Uh, 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 he was dropped by accident. He, it was not the intention of the Lord that he live in loading bar. And I want you to know that even though he ended up in that place, that God still had a destiny for him. And I came tonight to tell about a couple of you leaders, Especially you sitting with your wife saying, the Lord began to speak to me about you and your wife. And I want you to lift your hands because the Lord said tonight that you are one of the leaders 
that needs to sow a $1,000 seed. Tonight, the Lord said to tell you this. He said to tell you this. He said, not only am I getting ready to touch you. He said, I'm getting ready to balance the beams of your church. He said, He said, I'm getting ready to touch your wife. He said, I'm getting ready to shoot the fire that is on the inside of your belly. Oh, you have been in a state of feeling stuck, a state where there's no progression. But I prophesy to you that the books that are in you will begin to come out. I just need 10 believers tonight. When I lay hands on you tonight, with your permission, the Lord says that not only is he getting ready to catapult you, but he says to tell you that the state of confusion when it comes to who you are and the intimidation that you've dealt with, he says that he's breaking it off of you. I prophesy a healing to your heart. I prophesy a healing to your mind. I prophesy birthing to your ministry. Receive it. Oh, he said, receive it tonight. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I want you to know tonight that in this studio, the Lord not only wants to heal you, Pastor, but he desires to heal your congregation. Oh, Rabbi Kosaya, this will no longer be another year. And members come to church and the pastor has everything. But the people are lacking. I said, Rabbi Kosaya, I said, there's a birthing in the realm of the spirit. And there is an incubation of growth getting ready to hit your churches. Chef, he was in lowly bar. Pastor, I'm telling you, the Lord said there's a global, there's a global anointing upon your ministry. And the Lord said, get the TV ready. He said, get the media ready. He said, because the same platform is getting ready to be allotted to you. I prophesy to you today that the spirit of depression is breaking tonight. For many of you, you've lost your faith in God. You've lost your faith. You've lost your travail. You've lost the longing and the desire to push in God. Tonight, the Lord said, I'm going to every broken place. He said, I'm going to every hurt place. He said, I'm going to every crooked place. He said, and I'm getting ready to make the way straight. I want you to tell somebody that God is making the way straight tonight. He's straightening out the crooked places. He's making way for the anointed. Oh, I, I want to finish this. And I'm, I promise you I'm done. I want you to tell somebody today. I want you to tell them, say, my next is now. Come on. Say, my next is now. When they came knocking at the door of Mephibosheth, he expected death. Some of you are expecting death. You're expecting failure. But I want you to know that failure is rejecting you today. I want you to know today. I want you to know that not only is failure rejecting you, but fear and death is rejecting you. And God, this is the hour. And he's bringing you into a place of purification. He's bringing you to a place of consecration. He's bringing his nation back to the knees of repentance. Somebody shall revive America. Somebody shall revive America. Somebody shall revive America. Oh, son of a hyena. Somebody shall revive America. I said, look at your neighbor and say, revive America. And watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And those of you tonight, Oh, there are some of you right now and you're in the cancer ward. There are somebody right now, there's a young lady that you're walking the street and you just happen to scroll on your Facebook. There's somebody tonight somewhere and God has declared that you're not going to have another encounter, but you're going to experience a total healing. The man at the pool of Bethesda. 
asked them. He sat there for 38 years and he asked them, will thou be made whole? Uh, the healing is not in your shouting. The healing is not in your flipping up and down. But the healing is in your mind. When you decide tonight that I'm getting ready to plant into this ground, you got to plant with the right mindset. Because if you don't plant with the right mindset, there will never be a great harvest. But I want you to know that tonight the Midianite curse that comes to stop the progression of who you are is breaking tonight. I want you to lift your hand, baby. Lift your hand. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Just as how I've picked you up in the spirit, lift your hand. The Lord said that I'm healing you. On the last 10 years of hurt and the last 10 years of pain, I prophesy to every broken place. I go down to the bottom of your belly. I curse every generational curse. I curse suicide. I arrest your soul tonight. I call holiness unto you. Righteousness in your belly. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody. I said travail. Somebody said there's a travail in here. And it's inside of me. Look at somebody and say there's a travail. I'm going to lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Stand. Just stand. I'm done. I'm Rebecca Sire. I want you to know today as I look directly into this camera. I prophesy into the homes of many of you that are sitting. You're in a place of brokenness, a place where you cannot pray. But I speak a prophetic reviving in the bottom of your belly. I prophesy tonight that the progression of the Lord shall begin to hit you. And those leaders will begin to partner tonight. There are some of you right now with a $1,000 seed. And when you sow it, the building will be released. The construction will be released. The team you need will be released. Come on, I need you to call right now. Right now, 1-855-730-WORD. Uh, uh, don't you doubt. It's right there, right there, right there. It's right there. And as you begin to obey the Lord, God said there are some great things that shall precede the obedience of your mouth. Come on, somebody lift up your hands tonight. You, 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 y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Uh, you, you, you mentioned the thousand dollars, and I said there are five people that would give a thousand and eight dollars. Thank God for Corlette in Texas, one thousand and eight dollars. There are there are four more of you. There are four more of you that will sow that one thousand and eight dollars. Lift your hands all over this building. You you didn't come here tonight. Just to be a spotlight pastor, God just keeps speaking and speaking. God is refreshing your ministry, man. I've known you for 30 years. And he said he has not forgotten your labor of love. He has not forgotten your labor of love. It's your time now. You've pushed everybody else. But God said it's your. I hear the Lord saying while you were on vacation, you and your wife talked about the next in your life. And tonight, God said the next is on. Tonight, he's giving you a glimpse. Read it. This is from your place. Phyllis, New York, $87. Brenda, $88. Marilyn, Barbara. Barbara, New York, $208. Bishop, as Go ahead. you were talking, Go. as you were talking, there's someone in the area of California. And um, you, as you, it's a leader, a particular leader, uh, uh, you have been watching his show for a while. And the Lord says to tell you, you're battling in your mind about a few things concerning the move of God. But I want you to know tonight that you don't, you're not going to close your church. You're not going to collapse. You're not going to fall in. I want you to get to the phone because there is a seed that's going to break the cycle of causing things not to grow. I, I want you to get there because as you obey him tonight, the Lord said there is immediate favor that will begin to proceed what you plant in the ground there is not only that but God said there's a revival going to go down in your belly and you're going to begin to flow again you're going to begin to be refilled again with the Holy Ghost and you're going to feel the weights and the yokes of bondage beginning to break off of you tonight there is someone
You're in a shelter. I arrest the spirit of every shelter tonight. I speak to every fivefold ministry in every country, every destination, and you will obey God tonight with that seed tonight. And as you obey Him, I promise you testimony. Miracles are going to come in. Change is going to happen right in your mind. Your perception is being healed. The way that you perceive your yeah. storm is changing. The way that you see it is going to change. He asked the man, will thou be made whole? He said, yes, but I have no one to help me. He immediately told him, get up from out of that thinking. He wasn't speaking to his body. He was speaking to his mind. I speak to your mind that you will get up from that place of suicide, that place of abandonment, and you will live again. I want you to sow that seed of $87 right now. I want to send you what you see on the screen. Send you the journal, just like Janice had. And you're going to write your story of victory and healing. You're going to write your own story of victory and healing. I want to send you three messages. Failure is not the end. I want to send you the oil. I want to send you the prayer cloth. $87, but then there's another level of $208. You're going to do it while they're singing. And we're going to come back and pray, me and Apostle Hunter and the others. But then there's another level. There's four more of you that will sow $1,008. I'm going to ask that our staff would let Prophet Serafina go to the prayer room. I want Apostle Edmonds. I want Apostle Johnson. I want Pastor Dana. I want all of you to go to the prayer room tonight. Go now. Go. And I want you to begin to pray for the people of God as they sow a seed right now. I want to release you to go there now. Go and pray for the people Everybody stand. He reigns. Saint children, lift your hands. Come power. give you praise right now Apostle Michael Hunter is coming and I'm coming right back about 10 minutes he's going to speak to you 855-730 word I'm going to run to the prayer room and pray for some of you right now Apostle Michael Hunter lift your hands everybody y'all keep staying there stay there our God I hear there's so abundance of rain sing that song gently with come on sing that song my God's an awesome God it's the power of my God is an awesome God. There's a titanic move of the hands of God that's about to break the spirit of lack, that's about to break the spirit of oppression and depression from off your finances, from off your health, say the spirit of the living God. And God is saying, as you look at me tonight through those camera lens, if you step forward and sow that thousand dollar seed, God says, I will release unlimited harvest in the latter part of this year. I will give you new connections.
protection. I'll give you favor. I'll give you victory. I'll open doors that no one else can open. God says, the one that has severed your finances, that have tried to sever your marriage and your health, God says that devour is destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And there's an Andy from the New York era that is watching me right now. God says, dial this number, 855-730 and sow that $1,000 seed. Solomon sowed a $1,000 seed and God changed his destiny. God gave him wisdom. God gave him understanding. God gave him riches and wealth. But most importantly, he had peace on every side. Do you desire peace tonight? Do you desire your miracle tonight? God says that there's a marvel that is watching me right now. You've been having so much sleepless nights, but God is sending the devil out of your house. And God is saying, I'm giving you victory. I'm giving you breakthrough. And the miracle that you've been asking God for is coming in the next seven days. I want everyone tonight to dial this number, 855-730-WORD. Sow that seed, that $1,000 seed. For those who do not have that level of faith, I'm asking you to sow an $89 seed. These seeds are so profound. Solomon did it. He came into breakthrough and miracle. The eight eighty-seven dollars seed, that will bring you into a new beginning of completion of the things that you've been asking God for. God is saying to a Margaret that is watching me, your boas is released, say the spirit of the living God. God is saying also to her race, I'm doing a new thing. I'm erasing some records on your behalf and I'm giving you a new start, say the most high God. I hear the spirit of the living God saying that this is a shifting, a new season, a season when you step out of the desert place, a season when you walk out of the drought that you've been, you've been going through and a season of the latter rain, a season of harvest. Dallas number, 855-730-WORD and your miracle will begin now. I want you all to take a seed, get that seed in your hands. Step out by faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. By faith, many of you that are standing and looking at me in the studio audience are standing here tonight. God says by faith, I'm seeing 2700 Boulevard, Summer Boulevard. I'm seeing that church. I'm seeing Sweet 105. God says he's about to rise up in a major way. Get ready, man of God, because I'm seeing God releasing a studio for you. God says, get ready. The doors are swung open. And God is healing you also in the lower air of your back, in your digestive system. I hear the spirit of the living God saying that I'm giving you a new touch, a new healing, a new pep into your step. Get ready. Because God says, not only those CDs shall sell, but also your book shall sell. Get ready for this network because I'm seeing you on this network. And God says, watch my hands. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing a, a Prince George Edmondson. A Prince George Edmondson. Do you know a Prince George Edmondson? Huh? That's my nephew. That's your nephew. God is saying that God shall use your nephew. I'm seeing Prince George Edmund. It's not son. Edmund. I'm seeing also 2700 Summer Boulevard. Um, it's in the Carolinas. I'm seeing Sweet 142. And I'm seeing a place of worship. Say the spirit of the living God. Is this true? It's exactly true. Have you ever seen me? We never talk. No. God says your miracle is now. Favor 
transformation. I'm seeing also, uh, 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 wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a George Edmondson, an Apostle George Senior. Who is that? That's my pastor. Give Jesus a round of applause. Now, this is not ESP. This is not fortune telling. This is not, as a matter of fact, even I said, when I said Prince, I'm going to show you something. I want the cameras to be really focused now because we're walking strongly in the prophetic at this time. I'm seeing a Prince George Edmondson. I'm seeing you giving birth to a Prince George Edmondson. And it was a, the devil fought against the birth. But God created a miracle. God says to tell your son, Prince, that he's called and he's chosen. And the same anointing of healing and the miraculous that rest upon you shall rest upon him. God says, I shall use him as he used A.A. A. Allen and Jack Cole, say the spirit of the living God. God says also, those who have been trying to bully him, those who have been trying to come against him because of his destiny. I'm removing them from out of the way. And God says, academical excellence. Academical excellence. I'm seeing also music upon him. Say the spirit of the living God. And even while I was prophesying to that, do you know him? Uh, he's my brother. <laughs> Give Jesus a round of applause. I'm seeing 270. 2700. Summer. Summer. Boulevard. That's the address of our church. I'm seeing 142. Sweet one. I'm seeing a George Edmondson Sr. That's my husband. Now God is saying, if you would just call in right now, 855-730-WORD, your miracle is now. So that uncommon five, wow, hold on, boko, shut up. $5,000 seed. There's three persons that can show a seed of $5,000. I just hear the Lord saying, I want you to sow it. I'm seeing April come here. Sa -sa Safrina. I'm seeing April 22nd, 1988. When were you born? I'm seeing... April, April. April in the month of April. Amen. Stand right here. I'm seeing a Daniel. Daniel. I'm seeing a, a Jeremiah. I'm seeing an Isaiah. God says all those three boys. Do you know those three boys? Yes, yes. They're, yours? They're anointed as prophets. I'm seeing a Zoe. Prophetess Zoe. God says music is in her. The creative hearts is in her. And God says get ready because I'm about to give you a good husband who loves you and your four children. Say the spirit of the living God. Get ready, say God. Because I'm seeing the number four and it means prophetic, prophetic accuracy. You shall shine like the sun. God says, even that book shall. I've seen favor, favor upon the prior vault. God says, get ready because he's about to give you a school. And watch that nay salon say the spirit of the living God. Now I want you to tap into this anointing. Tap into this uncommon supernatural grace. These are people, I don't know them. I'm, 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 I'm Sister Sabrina. Is it the first time you've ever seen me? Have you ever spoke to me before? Tap into this anointing. 855-730-WORD. Sow that uncommon seed and step in to your harvest and your destiny. Stay with me. His prayer. Sons is everybody stand. To him. Everybody lift your hands right now. His presence. His prayer. To heal. Join me, Pastor Dana, Pastor Albertus, Pastor Edmund. His prayers. Join me. To heal. For I am the Lord. I need to hear them. Heal and heal. Lift your hand. His prayer. Everybody, his presence, his presence to heal, his presence to heal, for I am. 
am the Lord for your hand everybody close your eyes be healed be healed be healed right now be healed father be healed be healed it's in the present it's in the present Stretch your hand. Be healed. Be. It's in the present. It's in the present. God is healing you. Stretch your hands. Be. Father, I thank you. Dial the number on the screen right now. There are 100 of you right now. That's so that $87. He spoke $5,000. I, you know, I was looking at, I was looking at uh, one, one of our people over there. I said, hey, when God says it, you got to move. See, sometimes we believe, lift your hands, everybody. We're almost done. I sense the anointing in this. But sometimes we think things is foolish. But God takes the foolish things. I watched the guy at the last show. I think he sold eight thousand dollars. Keisha for tonight just kept sowing a thousand dollars. Just kept sowing a thousand. God is about to do things that's gonna blow our minds. I said, there's mind blowing miracles about to happen. Somebody's being healed of an ulcer right now. Somebody is being healed right in their lower back. Begin to speak in your prayer language right now. Somebody's being healed right now. Your neck right now. God is all is healing right now. Stretch your hand right now. Somebody, your gums are inflamed. God is touching you right now. Bring it closer to me. God is touching you right now. God is touching you right now. Somebody got pain in your legs right now. God is touching you right now. Come on. Mental illness. Mental illness. God is touching. Mental illness right now. Mental illness right now. Mental illness. God is touching you right now. Mental illness. God. Something just popped. Mental illness right now. Pray in the spirit. Mental illness. Mental illness. Mental illness. Mental illness. Mental Up, up, up. Come on up. Come on up. I decree and declare. Come on up. Come on up. Get up from there. Up. Somebody got a family member in a coma. They coming out. Up. Up. Up from there. Up. Get up! You're a bullshit. But I shot up. I'm born in the spirit for somebody. Up! You're a bullshit. But I shot that. You're a bullshit. But I shot that. You're a bullshit. Somebody's healing right now. There's your healing. There's your healing. You're a bullshit. Somebody in your stomach. You're a bullshit. No more torment. 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 I break the back. Depression. Your mind is here. 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 Your
Severe ear infection. And I see the mother holding him in your arms. Severe ear again. infection. You're being healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. There's a young man who's away in school on a scholarship for sports athlete. You've been injured in your knee, but God said he's healing you right now in the name of Jesus. There's a woman dealing with lower back pain right now. Severe pain. You're laying on your bed. God said rise and be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Back to this baby. This baby has been screaming and crying because of a severe inner ear infection. God is healing him right now in Jesus' name. Stretch your hand. How now on me, oh, let the healing, 855-730 word, get the seat in the ground now, we're about to leave you, the operators are there, right now, so that $87. I want to send that package in the mail to you. I want to send it to you. Somebody that saw 1,008. Somebody that was so 208. Get it in there. Right now, lift your hands. Oh. Healing of the mind. Healing of the body. Healing of the soul. Power. Breathe. On me. Begin right now. Say, oh! This has been a Word Network special presentation brought to you by the friends and partners of the Word Network all over the world. For a donation of $107 or more, the Word Network would love to send you this royal blue and gold messianic prayer shawl called a talit. Worn by men and women over the head or shoulders, this prayer shawl creates a private space for prayer and a symbolic covering of the presence of God. The 24 by 72 inch talit is adorned with white tassels tied on each corner. The blue and gold neckband is embroidered with a Hebrew blessing. Blessed art thou, O Lord God, King of the universe, who hast hallowed us by thy commandments and hast commanded us to unwrap ourselves in the fringed garment. This authentic prayer shawl represents a wonderful tradition of faith and a daily reminder of who you are in Christ. Call 855-730-WORD and your prayer shawl will be rushed to you immediately. That's 855-730-9673, 855-730-9673. With your continued partnership, we're bringing the good news of the gospel to a lost and hurting world. The Word Network has gone social and we would love to connect with you. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. The Word Network is dedicated to carrying out the Lord's command to take the gospel around the world through all platforms available. Join us and see how easy it is to be an ambassador for